God's blessings to you from our parish family here at St. Simon of Cyrene, with our ministry sites at St. Agatha and St. Martyrpurus. Offer this reflection on the scriptures for this coming Sunday for your spiritual nourishment and encouragement. But before we begin, let's take a moment to recognize God's presence in each of us and to give thanks for all our blessings. My friends, one of my favorite church hymns is a song called So the Word. It was composed by two seminarians, Keith Zavelli, now deceased, and a friend of mine, Steve Janko, uh, still a prolific composer. The words capture the essence of all three scriptures for this Sunday. Listen to the words of the refrain. So the word came to the world. So the word came to stretch his arms and die for the world. As he loved, so he lived to sow the word. The beauty of the song rests in two words, so and word. The imagery of the verses of the song are taken almost directly from Sunday's first reading from the prophet Isaiah. Sunday's familiar gospel of the sower and the seed also centers us in an image of God as a farmer, a sower of seeds. The people of Jesus' time would have laughed at this parable. What halfway intelligent farmer would haphazardly scatter seed anywhere and everywhere? The answer Jesus hints at is a God who has the eternal hope that even seed, the good news that falls on dry and bare land, will possibly, with the grace of God, take root, grow, and bear fruit. We can all too easily look at certain people and say, they're hopeless, they're not going to go anywhere in life. Why even bother preaching the good news to them when their hearts are hardened? We have similar people in our society who would label whole racial, ethnic, and other marginalized groups as a waste of time. I think about an early conversation that former Mayor Emanuel had with the late Karen Lewis, head of the Chicago Teachers Union, who she said told her, we can only save 75% of our, our youth, so we need to concentrate on that 75%. I wonder who gets to choose who's in the 75% and who are the 25% we ignore. It's hard to believe that someone would even suggest this. Jesus would have condemned such a statement. Too many people in power in our society make these decisions all too easily. Even with military strike decisions, the decision makers weigh in what's an acceptable collateral damage, that is, innocent human life loss. Jesus asks us all to be sowers of the word, scatters of the seeds of good news, of faith, hope, and love that can redeem our world. He invites us to engage those people, those groups who are locked into attitudes and beliefs that are contrary to Jesus' all-inclusive, all-embracing message. He doesn't tell us to avoid them, to write them off. He asks us to take re risks to reach out, to build relationships without judgment, build a foundation of trust and mutual dialogue, then decide to work together to build better families, better communities, and a better world. His words are clear to those who refuse to be open to listen to the word. Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears, they will have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see but did not see it, and to hear what you hear but did not hear it. My friends, will we fully open our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and minds to come to understand what Jesus is asking of us and what incredible supports and rewards he is offering us? It's up to each of us to plant seeds of faith, hope, and love everywhere where God's love is needed. And I don't know about you, but I don't know a single place where it is not needed. On behalf of the Catholic Christian family here at St. Simon of Cyrene Parish, I want to invite you to join us this coming Sunday for one of our two Masses, 9 a.m. at St. Agatha or 11 a.m. at St. Martin Porus. Both services led by our wonderful contemporary gospel choir. Their services are live streamed and available for viewing afterward online. We welcome your participation in our community prayer of praise and thanksgiving. Please take the time to share this video with others. It's a great way for you to evangelize. And thank you for all the ways you continue to allow the Lord to work through you, with you, and in you. And in all things, my friends, be blessed. <laughs>